Hello on YouTube, I'm the Softman, and welcome back to some more Youth Challenge. Man, and welcome back to some more Youth Challenge run episode number three. Today we're finally back, and I do apologise for the wait. I had some hard drive issues. They're all sorted. I'm back and ready and raring to go. Hopefully these uh, recordings will go okay, because uh, I did a few tests beforehand, and unfortunately my audio was off, so I had to go back to the old way of doing the audio. But we're looking all right, guys. We're looking good. Oh, we've got the Youth Squad Monthly Report to start this episode uh, episode off. I've forgotten half of these players, guys. Vasco Guedes uh, is a left-back between 67 and 85, so he's not fantastic, but he's not pants. By the end of the first season, going into the second season, guys, I want all of my people to be regens in that second season. Uh, that's the main, main aim of all of this. Um, we've got Hugh Alexander, who's looking pretty decent between 79 and 94. Uh, age of 15. Marcos Andrade could, could be brought up right now if we want, but his overall is only 51, so he needs a little bit of work there. Uh, Mikhail Skovgard is the other guy. Um, rated 60 currently, which is ace, between potential of uh, 78 and 92. Well, it's an away game against Luton Town. It's the FA Cup. And I've just realised I've done my first team and I don't want to do my first team. Um, there we go. There's my second team. Lovely jubbly. We'll replace that guy up front who's uh, who's injured. That's great. Hopefully we go out. Uh, if we go for a little bit of a run in the FA Cup, it's not too bad either because that'll mean money. Oh, but a draw is definitely not what I want. That's more games piled on me than I actually want. Max Watson is currently the one getting the uh, the training. It's mainly Skovgard. Um, we're going to do him for six months, of course. Um, and just get as much as we can right up until Christmas time and then after Christmas we'll start on somebody new um, that's just the way that I like to do it to get as many people as I can a higher rating as possible as quickly as possible but there we go Sc uh, Watson actually I think just went up to a rating of 60 there which is pretty decent well we're back with our first team it is against Cambridge away from home Apparently the update means we can't see any recent results, so I can't say to you whether or not they've been done well lately or not, because I can't tell you. Hughes, with a nice injury there, to uh, to go with the rest of them that are currently piling up injured at this moment in time. Is he dead? Do you think he's dead? I think he's dead. Oh, he's broken his fuck. I've literally just started recording again, and this guy has gone and broken his bones. Unbelievable! Why is it always me? Why I always get broken bones in this uh, in this save, guys? Please tell me why. Tell me why. Tell me why do I get broken bones? Tell me why. Tell me why. Scott guys going to 61. Pledge. Here we go, guys. It is in fact time to go to the email box because Cairo, Cairo, Cero, I don't know who he is, has found us some Wongridge, some Wongridge, some Redis, some Redis. Some peeps. <laughs> well, eventually, we've got a decent-ish kind of one here. Juan Fierro. Um, his current overall actually looks pretty goddamn good for a 15-year-old. We're going to sign him, because why the hell not? These other two, though, look a little bit worse for wear. We're going to get rid of them, because the potential is just not good enough for us. Price, what have you managed to find us over in Germany? Absolutely nothing. Unbelievable. How can he find us nothing in Germany? That's craziness. Skovgard. We've got your son, haven't we? Lucas Fredri uh, Fredrickson uh, is a guy between 69 and 93, but his current overall doesn't look fantastic. We'll keep an eye on him for the future. That guy looks shit, and so does that guy. Um, right, yeah, we're still going there. That's not but too bad. You guys have been telling me as well um, that apparently I've got to look for physically strong people if I want a centre-back. And I definitely do want to do that. So when they've finished doing their stuff, we will have a look for centre-backs, guys. Because we're slowly building our way forwards, if you haven't seen. We've got a goalkeeper, as you can probably see there, Marcus Andrade, who would come in and do a pretty decent job for us, I reckon, eventually. We've got a right-back and a left-back, and we've got a central defensive midfielder. But we've got two, two, we've got, we need two centre-backs, and we just haven't got them at this current moment in time. Uh, so we will... Uh, we will need to do that, right? Let's go to the second uh, second squad. 
A game at home against Luton Town, who were one of the favourites to actually win this, uh, win this league. So, 3-2. We lost. No injuries. Wilkes getting two goals. But I'm not too bothered. I'm out of the FA Cup. I'll get a little bit of Wongridge for that, guys, but not much. And then uh, we can just concentrate on the league and the other shitty cups that managed to come our way. So, home game against Newport. Straight into it, guys. Oh, recent results. We've actually got some popping up there, guys. It's another draw. I mean, I'll take it. I'll take it. How are we doing in the league, anyway? We're doing absolutely shit. <laughs> we are literally smack bang at the bottom of the league, guys. It's not looking good for us. It's really not. Hopefully, they're not going to be too judgmental uh, of us when it comes to the end of the season. And then sack us, because that would be absolutely disastrous. And it wouldn't be much of a challenge anymore. We'd be just, like... You know, dead. Just like that. No youth challenge. It's just youth. And no challenge because we've, we've gone. Um, bugger, bugger off, will you? Bugger off. Right, home game against Wickham. Straight into yet another game. They've got three uh, central midfielders kind of bunched in the middle there. Bit weird. One all. Wilkes coming off the bench to score, actually. Another point as well. Fuck me. Another fucking point, guys. We're in 15 points. If we just managed to get a couple of wins, we could be way up there. We could be abs We could just be laughing. We sat there laughing. We've got a dead calf. Not a dead calf. Like a dead leg calf. Fuck me. Dead calf. Can't be going around saying that shit on YouTube. Fucking YouTube will be like, no, I'm sorry, we can't monetize that because you've said shit. By the way, guys, and I know I've said this in my update video, but if you do want to support me at all, uh, through this because I will not stop swearing. I will not stop being the person I want to be Unfortunately, YouTube want me to stop being that person by demonetizing my videos if you do want to um, um, You know support me in any way you, you can there is a link to my patreon just one single dollar will cover a video a day That is literally how much I earn a day on YouTube 98 cent I think it was it's I said we lost 3-0 there so if you can you don't have to by all means guys but if you do want to uh, then please do go ahead and check that link out to my patreon in the description below but anyways let's carry on Skovgard's gone up to 62 he is going to be an absolute legend of Skovgard he's going to be an attacking force I'm sure we might need to switch around some of his his, his jingle jangers and see whether or not we can uh, we can do something there. We're smack bang at the bottom. Just still. They're on 19 points though ahead of us. So it's only four points between 24th and 19th. And if we manage to do it, we could be all right. That'll be a youth scout uh, monthly report, so I'm not too bothered about that. Let's have a look then. Uh, we've only got one person who could get brought up to the first team, and that is Marcus Andrade. His potential, if we just leave him there, between 77 and 85, but he will have to start playing some games if that's the case. Let's just have a quick look at our squad and have a look at the uh, the goalkeepers here. As a 59 rated goalkeeper, apparently the 59 rated goalkeeper, is this my first team? Let me have a look. It is my first team. So why is Chapman on and not Sturiak? No idea. He's better rated, apparently. He's got more pace, more physicalness about him. He's just a better goalkeeper. I don't know why we're not using him there. Um, I think that's the problem there, guys. We've got we're missing Hughes, and he's our, one of our best centre backs. So that could be uh, one of the issues that we've got facing us at this current moment in time. To be fair, we've not got a great team for League Two. We've still got some 59, 59 rated goalkeeper as well, a 58 rated forward. Not fantastic, is it? Home game against Swindon, and Hughes is back in defence. Hopefully he's not going to be terrible. Oh, man, Swindon are actually second top scorers in the league. Nil-nil, we've kept them to a draw. That is a really surprising result. It honestly is, guys, really surprising result. How are we in the league? Still 24th. It's fantastic, isn't it? <laughs> it's absolutely great. Right, we're going to swap out... Well, actually, no, we'll let Watson go up a little bit more there to 61 and then we'll swap him out for our goalkeeper who desperately needs that uh, that little bit of training so as we can see Watson's now gone up to 61 Skovgard has gone up to 63 so he is on uh, on par with our current right back so he will be straight into the squad next season that'd be fantastic 
Here we go, guys. It's a monthly scouting update. Another one. We've got uh, Ruben Cardenas, who is between 67 and 91. He's 17, though. And unfortunately, his current overall does not sing wonders to me. And I, I do like a player who sings wonders, so... Uh, in fact, let me just have a look, see if that's the last... No, nope, that's not the last month. We've still got another month left to go on some of these. Price. Has he managed to... He's found fuck all. Come on, Price. What is wrong with you? Why is you not getting us some good shit? Skovgard. Also not finding us some good shit. We're going to be scraping the barrel soon, guys, because when it comes, like I said, next season, I really want to have all of my players be young players coming through. Um, and we're going to be scraping the barrel when it comes to the end of the season. Now, this is going to be an interesting game. It's away against Lincoln, but they're currently struggling. They're three points ahead of us. If we manage to nick a win here, it could be amazing. No. No wins were had this day. A 2-0 loss, in fact, was had. Marcus Andrade takes his place in the training. It's going to be awesome. Oh, he's gone up to a 52 already, making his improvements in positioning. Fucking hell, he's got 39 goalkeeping positioning. Fuck me, he gets shot taken, he's fucking stood by the corner flag. Mate, I thought the fucking goal was over here. You know it ain't. It's over in the middle of the fucking pitch. Oh, well, you should have trained my positioning, shouldn't you? Fucking right, I should have. Oh shit, I'm going to lose loads of players. Fuck me, guys. I don't want to lose. I've got risk of losing seven players. Are you kidding me? Got to sort this out. Yeah, it says the contract's been accepted, look. Contract offer accepted. Why? To terminate loan. Okay, loan. 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 Fuck me, they're all loan players. Oh, shit. <laughs> For Jesus Christ, man. Uh, but the thing is, we've got seven months left on these guys. Shit, we've got a lot of things to fucking do here, guys. Alright, what's he on current... I'm just going to go through this. I'll be back in a second, guys. Right, that should be done. There's some people that have disappeared from the list here and gone down there, but there's all these uh, contract offer accepted, so I have no idea what that actually means. We'll soon find out anyway. That shouldn't be a risk of losing seven players now. We've just got to let them uh, sign up. That would be really good of them if they did that soon rather than later. That would, that would be good. Home game against Crawley Town. Can we finally lift ourselves with a win? I doubt it, but we're certainly going to try. It's a one-all draw. We haven't... I don't think we've won a game, guys. I honestly don't think we've won a game this episode. We keep getting odd points, but we're still rooted to the bottom of the table, which is never good. We need more points. Just one single three point, just a couple of wins. And that would blast me up. Oh, look at that goalkeeping position. He's slowly getting closer to the goal instead of being sat on his ass in the fucking stands. Simulate a game away at Carlisle. Interestingly enough, our goal, our rating as a manager is 86. <laughs> Fuck me, get in, another point. It's 86 as a, as a fucking manager. Now, that's really strange, saying that we're absolute shit. And that, oh, we're not bottom of the table, Grimsby are. Fuck me, we're facing against Grimsby now. Shit. Come on, lads. Fuck me, a Saturday Monday game. You're having some sort of laugh. This one is the most important of them both, so we're going to play our first team against Grimsby and our second team against Morecambe. This, this is where the points are. Come on now, lads. Guys! Go away! Fucking eventually. Three bastard points. Fuck me. I almost came. But I didn't. I kept it in, guys. Unluckily for us, everybody around us also won. So we've not moved off 23rd place at all. Which is just typical, isn't it? Right, we've got some training to do. Skovgaard's gone up to 64. What a legend. Andrade is really working on his positioning. Good lad, keep going. Youth squad monthly report. Marcus Andrade. Between 79 and 85, he's definitely uh, cementing that, I suppose. 82 now, Vasco Guedes. Not looking great, is he? Not looking fantastic. We need to improve him, that's the problem. We need to start improving him. But then, his value is only 50k. And when you look at everybody else's value, you can tell that he's not going to be any good by the looks of that, guys. You can just tell. Tyler Hornby Forbes is gone. 
Dallison's gone. Losing players now, guys. Wonderful. Game against Markham, which means I've got to change my team around there to uh, be my second team. It's a home game. Are the guys buoyed? Are the guys like, yes, we've won a game. We can do this. We can go on a two-win streak. No. Um, Donessian got a red card, but it's a point. I mean, we've racked up five points in the last three games, I think. That's some crazy amount of points. Fuck me, everybody's drawing around us and all now. Can we get out of 23rd place, please? It'd be really nice. Right, because it's January, we're not going to do that guy anymore. Um, we are, in fact, going to move on to somebody else. Fierro seems like a decent guy to go with. So does Alexander, though, as well. Hugh Alexander is a promising player. Um, in fact, Fierro's worth more than what Alexander is. They're both 15, so it's just a case of finding the best player to go with. Skovgaard, of course, is absolutely fine. Vasco Guedes, he could do with some improvements, but I just don't think he's worth going towards. Um, so, it looks as if Fierro is the way that we're going to go. Okay, there we go. Fierro has now got uh, four training things. Andrade is still there because we really need to improve his um, goalkeeping position. It's in my fucking eyeball. It's not my finger before you guys start. It's not my finger. Something else in my fucking eyeball. Oh, we've moved up to 22nd. Holy shit, guys. Shit the bed. Oh, something smells nice. Smell food going on, guys. Food. Home game against Chesterfield. Come on now. Can we get some more points? Five from three games. Fuck me. We scored first. I thought, yes, come on. No. Connelly. 3-1, guys. We just couldn't hold the lead, I'm afraid. How? I've sorted all this out. I don't understand why transfer offers have been fucking shitting bastardins. Why? I sorted all this out. These just don't seem to have accepted the offer. It says that they have. They just haven't. I don't understand. It said that they, were, they wanted to sign and they just haven't. What is that? Second bottom moving down are fucking forget ultimate team, you fucking wankers. Sort out your career mode. Jesus fucking Christ. This is what I this is literally what I pay money for every fucking year. I don't play ultimate team. You're telling oh fuck off. This bullshit. Why is it why? It told me they'd signed the bastard. Lying fuckers! I am fucking wound up now, guys. I am wound up like you would not believe. It told me they'd signed. I have proof of this. Fuck's sake. Right, anyways. Away against Cheltenham, then. Hopefully Hughes won't disappear. Because he's a big player for me so far. Fuck me, we've lost again. <laughs> we've lost again, guys. Andrade's gone up to 55 rated. Fierro has gone up to 57. Keep improving, because we're going to need every fucking player we can get currently, because uh, EA is absolutely shit at fixing their game, unless there's something wrong with Ultimate Team and they're whinging about that. Right, let's have a look, see if we've got anything decent to have a look at. Unfortunately, not again. 49 to 65. We might be able to work with that. Second, if he's a central field, midfielder, that is. If he's a winger, then probably not. No, nah, let's just fucking keep going. Let's just keep going, guys. You score for... Again, not... It's just not enough. They're just not good enough. Oops. Last youth scout report. Oh, this is much better. Peter Arvidsson. Get him signed up. And Joachim Matson. Get him signed up. Well, actually, his fucking current overall isn't fantastic. We'll sign him up anyway. Because we're running out of fucking... We're just running out of players at this rate. Uh, Peter Arvidsson doesn't look too bad, actually. His rating um, is 56 current overall. But his value is 170,000. He looks pretty decent to me, guys. He's a central midfielder. Um, which is good. But we do need to start improving the side because 
We're losing players at this moment in time. But you know what, guys? I'm afraid I have run out of time for today. I'm hoping that that's a, a long enough episode. I should think it is. God knows what's happening with the contracts and my players. It told me they'd accepted it. Some players, it took them off my list. Some players, they just stayed there. And I have no fucking idea. I have no clue. But that's going to be it for the end of this episode, guys. I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please go ahead and leave. What the fuck is that keeping that keeper shirt there? What the bastard? Anyway, till next time, guys. I've been Topman as always. <coughs> so that's it.